Hey. Grant Cardone here from Undercover Billionaire. I'm in Cabo San Lucas right now. I want to talk to all the young people out there that ask me constantly. Question. Big question. Dude, what would you do? What advice would you give to a young 20-year-old, 16-year-old, 15-year-old? Look, it's not too young to be young, and it's not too young to decide to be great. So for all of you out there to wonder what Grant Cardone would do if he was 15, 12, 18, 20, 22, 28, 30, young, young, and, and was just starting the game all over again, look, number one, you need to dream big. I mean, you cannot dream big enough. I'm telling you, you can't dream big enough. You can do more than you're doing, but you can't do more than you're doing if you hang around with little thinkers. That could be your family members, could be your friends, could be people you're going to school with and hanging out with. Look, there's a time and a place to hang out with those people. Can't pick your family. I mean, they say you can't. I wonder sometimes if we don't actually do the picking and just show up there. But I'll save that for another conversation. But I do know once, once you get with your family, the family that you picked or they picked or however that might work, the selection process, Wherever you went to school or go to school or where you grew up or how you grew up or religion you grew up in or whether you're white or black or brown, male or female, the question's always going to be, what can you do to do more with your life, to find your mission, to find your purpose, to find what you're great at, to get great at the things maybe that you're not great at, that you don't even like doing? Like you're young, you're trying to figure it out. And I would tell the young me, look, I got lost when I was 10, lost my dad. I'm in Cabo San Lucas, the weather's beautiful. I'm at this house that my family could never imagine living in or spending even a moment a day in, much less a week or two. And where I've gotten in my life has been about a couple things. One, I always believed I could do something. I always believed there was something, some little spark in me that said, man, I can do something big, even at the darkest, darkest times in my life. And there was a lot of them. From the age of 10 to 15, I was angry. I was pissed off. I couldn't help my mom. My dad had just died. My brother was, my older brother, who was my mentor and guide and inspiration. He was, you know, going on with his life. He was 15 and moving into high school and then graduating, leaving, going off to college. He wasn't interested in me, he was interested in his life. And then a few years later, he died. So I had these two big losses and they made me really, really angry. And I felt like, man, I'm not gonna even live very long. I was angry, I was confused. I didn't have anybody to guide me or mentor me. There was no internet. There was no YouTube videos where some dude's popping up on your phone or your, your computer. and. You're like, what's this dude doesn't have a shirt on in a pool telling me what he'd do when he was young? I'm doing for you what, you, what, what I wish somebody would have been able to do for me. Number one, think big. I'm telling you, you can do more and you will do more than, than you ever imagined. If you're ever successful in your life, if you ever hit it, and you can, you will look back 10, 15, 20 years from now and say, God, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? I promise you. You know, it's like 80 pounds of weight looks like a lot when you're five or six years old. Later, it's pretty easy to pick that up. No matter what your frame is, as long as you do the work, as long as you do the work and show up in the gym, one day you'll be able to pick that barbell up. Just like in life, okay? The things that you think are impossible today, the things that you hate today, the things that you aren't good at, the things that you think are a waste of time, the things that make you angry are all opportunities for you. So one, think big, big. You can do great things. You gotta believe that. You have to believe you can do great things even in the darkest moments. From 15 to 25, I was using drugs every day. So when I tell you, hey, you can do anything, I was a habitual daily drug user, overdosed three times, was brought back by people just wandering into a room saying, uh oh, this guy's in trouble. I 
okay? I, was, I don't know if I was trying to kill myself at the time or I was just didn't know what I was doing or stupid or whatever. Like, I was a walking time bomb and I was not to be trusted by my family, by my friends. There was no one in my life between 15 and 25 that I could have a positive influence on. I was a liability to everyone in my life, including my family and my friends and people I went to school with and the places I worked at. I lost seven jobs in a row. I was unemployable. 25, I went to a treatment center and said, I gotta turn this around. I gotta turn this around. I cannot keep using drugs. They're bad for me. I, I make poor decisions when I'm using them. I, I, I go out with the wrong people, hang with the wrong people, end up in the wrong fights. I literally got, like when you're using drugs, you're gonna pick fights you can't win, not in a lifetime. You're going to get in the wrong cars, make the wrong decisions, the wrong purchases, and you're going to miss a lot of great opportunities. So first thing is you can't do great things if you're incapable of making great decisions. And when you're under the influence, and I don't want to preach to you, I'm just telling you what, what advice I'd give myself if I was on the comeback and I was 15 years old and being influenced by everybody smoking the cush cool now it's probably gonna be legal everywhere going out drinking on the weekends forgetting everything that you did and just making poor decisions so I would tell you hey you got you got to figure out how how is that gonna somehow advance your life you're gonna have to make some hard choices if I'm a young guy coming up young gal coming up how can I pick great relationships when everybody's under the influence and again, I don't mean to sound like a like a, a preacher or anything, because I'm definitely not that. We're going to have a great time this weekend. I'm here for a week. We're going to have a lot of fun. But I couldn't do that if I was still under the influence every day. Wouldn't have the money to come here. This place they charge, they charge uh, is stupid money. Palmilla Hotel out here in Cabo. This is a private residence, about 12,000 square feet, private pool. You know, that, that, that's what you're playing for. You're playing, you're playing for, hey, I got to put something together here. I got to get great at something. So, but some people will pay me more than, than maybe I'm even worth. So one day I can actually go on these trips. So third thing I would tell you to do is this. Look, you got to pay the price now so you can pay any price in the future. I have been doing that since the age of 25. When I was 25, I said, okay, no more drinking, no more drugging. I didn't have a problem with alcohol, I had a problem with, uh, with drugs, but I'm like, I'm not even gonna use any alcohol. I'm not gonna have a beer, champagne, nothing until I have my money right, until I have a family, until I have kids on the way, until I know I'm a responsible human being that I can trust. That I can trust, not other people can trust. I need to get my trust back before I expect other people to trust me. So I'm giving you three little tips of what I would do right now. I would think big the whole time and I would only surround myself with people that were willing to do big things, think big things. Two, stay away from the freaking goodies. They ain't that good. And number three, pay the price today. Okay, learn to discipline yourself. If you got to go to the gym every day, if you hate going to the gym, go to the gym. I don't like going to the gym, but I'm like, I don't like my body hurting either. And sooner or later, if you don't go to the gym and work your body, your body will it will scream at you and it will hurt. Lower back pains, arms, shoulders, knees, you name it. It's always gonna hurt. And as long as it's hurting, how can you be fully available for the people around you if your body's hurting? Two, you gotta eat good foods, okay? Gotta make decisions. I ain't gonna eat junk. I'm not gonna eat the junk. Why, why? Because I'm saying no to junk. And if you can start saying no to stuff, you can start saying yes to the good things. Like my little girl right there, Sabrina. Say hi, Sabrina. Hey. So pay the price today. Learn how to be great at jobs you hate. That's paying the price. Get up early. Go to bed early, okay? Beat the sun up every morning. It'll give you so much confidence. I'm paying the price when I do that. When I get up before the sun gets up, I'm paying the price. When I go to bed at nine o'clock and I'm not watching TV and movies and just being entertained and affected whatever's coming my way, I'm paying the price. When I don't waste the weekends, the weekends make you weak. Listen to me. Weekends are for weak people. 
Anything after 10 o'clock at night, it's for weak people. Okay, Saturday and Sunday, staying up all night, weak people. People are made weak on the weekends. Pay the price, okay? Give up the weekends for the next five years and watch what happens. Five years, man, that's a lot of weekends. That's, what is that, 250 weekends? Is that right? Yeah, 250 weekends. That means I'm ahead of the people around me. I'm paying the price today in hopes that I could pay any price in the future. So that when you have a family, okay? When you find that person that you love and wanna take care of, when you finally get the right job and the credibility and the trust in the marketplace, when you finally believe in yourself completely, you'll also have the rewards and the fruits necessary so that you can start paying for the things that you and your family have now earned and deserve. It's a great planet out here. If you want to see the great parts of it, it takes money. And the last thing I'll tell you is about the money thing. You're around people that say, hey, money won't make you happy. I'm with you. It ain't gonna make you happy, but it'll buy a nice villa that you can bring your kids and some support and some staff. Where are you guys going? Okay, have fun. It, 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 it'll get money, money, money matters, okay? The last thing I'm gonna tell you is that money matters and you gotta get your money right, okay? Don't waste it, don't lose it, use it. Money, don't waste it, don't lose it, use it. Use it to make yourself better. If you have a business, use it to make yourself better and the business better. Use it to make yourself better, the business better, hire employees. Use it to make yourself better, the business better, to hire employees, make them better. Use it to make yourself better, the business better, the employees better, and then add more employees, and then use it to market your company, market yourself, to reach new connections. Use money to go out and meet the people that dream bigger than you do and that have done all these things I'm telling you, which is they're not wasting the weekends and they're paying the price. And I promise you, you'll end up with a life that'll be beyond anything you can dream or imagine. I can't wait, I can't wait to, to I'm gonna meet you three or four years from now. You'll be like, dude, I saw that video that you did, man. You in the swimming pool in Cabo. That video shocked me, changed my life, got my attention. I know it's you, you, you are gonna be one of those people. Put it on your bucket list. I'm gonna meet Grant Cardone one day and I'm gonna tell him that video right there where he said what he would, what advice he'd give the younger Grant that's right. Let's roll. Let's do something. I want to hear from you, okay? Hit me back and tell me this video changed your life. Uh, by the way, those of you that ha ha know about Undercover Billionaire Discovery sent me this little, this little hat right here. I just finished shooting this show called Undercover Billionaire. It's on Discovery Channel. They gave me 100 bucks in 90 days to turn it into a million. Watch that show. The show is freaking rock solid reality. Okay, no production. They didn't help me out. I got dropped off in Pueblo, Colorado with a hundred bucks, no food, no water, no place to live. If you hadn't seen it, grab it, find out somebody that's got it. It's on Wednesday night's Discovery T Channel after, uh, what's that, uh, that show, that big fishery show, <coughs> the catch show. Uh, you guys know what the name of it is. Something catch, deadliest catch, okay? On, it follows Deadliest Catch on Wednesday, night, Wednesday night's Discovery Channel. If you want to binge on it, you can go grab the whole thing at Discovery+. Plus. God bless you. Be great. And remember, when you use this advice, I guarantee you it will benefit you. I guarantee you it will work. But mostly what I want to know and I'm looking for is a guarantee that you, one person, you, that person, I know who I'm talking to right now, by the way. I know you're watching this. You. You're going to grab me three or four years from now and say, hey, that video when you were in the pool in Cabo changed my life. God bless you. Be great. 10X everything. Go out and do this.